Look at this. We got told it was a male leopard, but I don't think this is. I, it looks like a a female to me. Is that shadow? The ears aren't tatty enough for shadow. Oh, we're going to have to have a look. Okay, she's moving half a stenbok. So we're calling for a male leopard. This is definitely a, definitely a female. Uh, Sean, if you cut, she is starting to move with the, the carcass deeper into her teller. I don't know who that is. Well, looks a bit dark to be shadow for me. Ears just don't look tatty enough. Hmm, interesting. Let's try to get a better look at her face. see where she moves that carcass to. She could be trying to take it up a tree. But that's definitely a female for me, it's not a male. That very big belly. This is what would generally be considered shadows territory but I don't know I just didn't think that that leopard looked her ears didn't look tatty enough for me and she looked a little bit too dark maybe it's just because I haven't seen shadow in so long but oh, normally I'm pretty decent with those things I wonder, well, who do you guys think it is uh, on the brief view we've had so far let me know hashtag safari live uh, questions at wildearth.tv who which leopard do you think this is I don't think it's shadow I, I, I am could be wrong of course but I just the, the, she looks too dark and her ears don't look tattered enough for me to be shadow Now, Aaron is wondering, could it possibly be in Chila? In Chila means tail, that tail's way too short, um, for me at least. Uh, but just, just to let you guys know, sorry, I forgot earlier, that leopard we saw at the distance uh, that we got told was Tandy actually turned out to be Karula, uh, according to Ephraim when he arrived. So, uh, it's... It wasn't Tandy. Now, her coloration for me is almost Tandy, but this is far out of Tandy's range. The only way she would normally be here is if she was looking for Tangana to mate, and that would mean she's lost another cub. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Let's wait till we get a much better view of her wonderful face. Now, AC says, does she look pregnant? I think she just looks like she's got half a stenbok in her belly. I'm quite, I'm fascinated to find out which leopard this is. Well, the one thing I'm 100% certain on is it's not a male leopard. Now, she's heading down towards some thickets around a little dry riverbed. I'm just going to try to get up ahead of her. Watch out for you, Bob. 
So there's a nice open area coming up. I'm just going to try and get there so we can look back on her. Should take us 30 or so seconds. Okay, we might try to get a good spot shot of her face now. I don't know, does that look like Tundi to you, Brian? She's got that shadow Tundi body type, but it's a, too dark for, for, for shadow for me. And the ears just aren't bedraggled enough. The Stenbock or Baby Impala, I've been so... I need to hide it in there. There she comes. Is that a baby in parlor? Yes, it's a baby in parlor, not a stand book. You think Tundi? I'm also inclined to lean towards Tundi rather than Shadow, which means if she's this far out of territory and she's possibly lost that last cub and she's back in the estrus. But as I said, we're just guessing. That is not a fact. And, oh, many moons ago, someone lost a game drive blanket in this block. <laughs> there it is. It's been eaten by all the insects. Now, I think I should have pictures of Tundi here. So once she stops, I will double check. Can you guys remind me what Tundi spot pattern is, please? And uh, referring to the spot pattern. I can't remember it offhand, but if you, if you do know her spot pattern, let me know, please. Hashtag Safari Earth or questions at wildearth.tv. Okay, well, we're going to try to get into a spot uh, where we can see her when she stops. While we do that, let's go see what Byron is up to.